praise your name. I shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, O God? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another Thursday. My dear friends, my dear sisters, another Thursday. Hallelujah. Amen. On a good evening. Good evening, my dear sister. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. As now they come online. On a good evening. Oh. Sister Irene, good evening. Sister Favor, good evening. Sister Faith, good evening. God bless all of us. Now they come online. Hallelujah. Oh, God bless you now. Another Thursday, don't reach again. We thank God oh, for life. We give God all the glory for life. Mama Asanga, good evening, ma. God bless you, ma. Hallelujah. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Sister Favor, good evening. God bless all of us now they come online. I thank you now as now come online this evening. Now I don't sharp. Now I don't sharp, oh, now I don't sharp. Make everybody join, no. Oh. Make now jump online. Make we talk about God this evening. Now, good evening. Now, welcome. Now, welcome, oh. Hallelujah. How my children then day. So, God be the glory. It's on another day of our life. So, we give God the glory. Say, one week, don't still meet us again. It be like play, it be like play. But God, they save us, they go. We thank God. Hallelujah. I beg, make we start with prayers with the normally they do. Because without God, nothing they possible. And with God, everything they possible. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory. Father, we just want to thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all your goodness in our lives. Thank you, Father, that you have done great things. The ones we are seeing right now, the ones we do not see, the ones we saw. Father, we give you all the glory. Thank you, Lord, for the ones that you have not yet done. Thank you, Father, for the ones that you are not even going to do. Because you know they might not be good for us. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all honor. Thank you, O Lord, for the great protection. Thank you, Father. Father, this evening, O God, we have come together again to talk about your word. Lord, release the Holy Spirit to spread this word in our hearts, O God, to help us to assimilate your word, to help us to think about your word to help us to meditate on your word thank you lord jesus thank you father holy spirit i have no power of my own i empty myself before you O lord father speak your word through me let your word be heard my flesh i kill right now in the name of jesus I cover this place with the blood of Jesus. Each and every one that will hear this word, I cover with the blood of Jesus. Father, let your word alone come out of my mouth and nothing else but your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. With thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear sisters, God bless you now. I say today we won't talk about, we won't talk about, uh, altar call. Altar call. Altar call. Now we won't talk about. You no, know, say every Sunday for church. Get church where be say that they take and they every Sunday. They not they miss and they must call. Say anybody where won't give in life to Christ. Make it come out. Make it come give in life to Christ. Hallelujah. I just want to let you know, say it then necessary. For us to come out to know Christ. But how we say come out. Now be another thing. Where we want to talk about this evening. Say when they tell us say. Come out to. If you know say you, you want. Uh, follow the word of God. You want follow Christ. You want follow Jesus. They walk the rest of your life. You want turn your back to the sin. Where you don't commit. You want become a new creature. You want become new person to God. 
how it's supposed to be. Because sometimes we they do them, say because say we see people say people they come out, make me too safe, come out. Now so it's supposed to be, we suppose they come out because say we see say people they come out, or we suppose mean for our heart before we they come out. Sometimes they did like lip service. My dear princess, you are welcome. Uh, we they don't like lip service, you know, uh, because they don't call people, make they come out. You to say, you know, say you never ready. Your heart tell you, say you never ready. So you just, you to say, go just say, because people they come out, you go just carry yourself, follow them. You they go outside. They don't do what I call. They say, okay, repeat after me. So you go talk and everything where they talk, you talk and but for your heart, you know, mina. For your mind, you know Mina. You just come out, bring out your lip service. They say, I, I believe in God. Now nah, I don't turn my back to my sin. But immediately they come out for the door. You don't go back to the person where you be before. Where it's not supposed to be. So now that one, that we want to talk about today. Some people, they will be saying, when new pastor come, when they get visiting pastor for their church, or they go somewhere like crusade, or they, they, they work out go another place where they say they, somebody preach to them, they go come out again. So people don't come out reach 50 times. Every time when they do attack call, they go come outside. Because I know say, or I believe say they don't know what he mean to to they do altar call. They don't know what he mean and for them now. Nah, now nah every time that they're supposed to they do one, so they will come out as many times as possible. But the Bible get what he tell us for day. I would like to read the one way Jesus do. You know when Jesus uh, come one start in ministry. He go near riverside where he meets say people they fish. This one he, he knows say people where no book they will. He knows say people where he don't uh, read Bible, go to the Bible school, go right where where say they day. But he no go there because he no want argument, he no want discussion. Jesus no go there. He go near river where fishermen they where no no book where no know anything. He go there. He go meet them. He said, make them leave their, their boat and their net where they say they fish. He said, make them follow him. Hallelujah. He said, make them follow him and become fishers of men. And these people, true, true, they not look back. They follow him immediately. That was the first call. Hmm? It was not on an, on an altar, but anywhere where people gather, an altar. He called them. They follow Jesus, true, true. Make a read them for Matthew 4. Uh, from 18, Matthew 4, 18 to 20. Matthew 4, 18 to 20. I beg, make uh, una the right hand down. Because now what the Bible encourage us to do be that. Anything we be say, uh, if they come out, we go the right hand down. Matthew 4, 18 says, And Jesus, walking by the sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea. For they were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straight away left their, left their nets and followed Jesus. First of all, you get to obey. You get to obey when the Lord calls you. You have to obey. They left everything. They have suffered the whole night, the whole day, the whole morning. They don't suffer. They never see one fish cast. But when Jesus said, follow me, they don't look back. They don't think who be this man. They follow him. Because the word where Jesus speak, he touched them from the bottom of their heart. He, he, he reached them inside them. The spirit moved inside them. For them to know that this man was make we leave this thing, make we follow and go be fishers of men. We won't really follow him. And remember that when you follow the Lord Jesus Christ, you they get gain. You know they lose. People they feel when they follow Jesus, you they lose. No. When you follow Jesus, you don't lose. 
Rather, you they gain. They don't work the whole money, the whole time. They don't get one fish. But by the time they don't agree to follow Jesus, Jesus said, they say, throw your nets now. You go catch fish. And they did. They did, my dear sisters. They did. Hallelujah. They did. And by the time when they begin catch fish, they don't even feel lift the nets. Amen. So there is gain in worshiping or following Christ. Now, I just wanted that one to start, say, Jesus self do altar call. But in that time, they not, not be for front of altar. But he called people out from the world to join him in his ministry. Amen. To join him in his ministry. In his ministry. Amen. Now, the second one be say, uh, people still there that time. Like I tell them, I say, Peter and his brother them, they use all their hearts to follow Christ. But people still there where Christ still calls. Say, yeah, make we come. Make we go. Make we go preach. Some of them still take lips like today, lip service. Take, enter Say, okay, we won't follow you, Christ. We won't go pick people. We won't follow people. We won't draw people to you. They follow somebody like uh, Judas Iscariot. Where he can't be say, now he later can't set Jesus out. Where they take he Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Into self. Now, now, now call. They call out to say, oh yeah, make all of us go to preach. Now, one of the disciples. But his own plan they're different from God's plan. They're different from Jesus Christ's plan. In getting your plan, when make and way be say if he say, I want to join these people so that I go feel arrange things come out for 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 myself or political aim or whatever in the thing. But all he did at that call where they call her na lip service. Amen. By the time we you there for church, my dear sisters. Now, now I want to come to our own. I just want to show now where the two different. How the things stay different too. Uh -huh. When they call altar call, you want to come out, my dear sisters. How you they say they come out? How you want to come out? Those who never really they born again. Where they know say yes, we, of a truth, we never they born again. Where they be say anytime where they do any altar call, anywhere, to come take your mouth and say, I want to they worship Christ Jesus. How you they take the dua? Now the word they taught you, I be now you they think and say, it don't reach time where I go to start to they worship God true, true. I want to turn away from my sin. And you go prepare yourself. Say, so, say, if they call altar call today, I go come out. Or you just sit down, see, say, the word where they talk, it taught you well, well. So today I want to really come out. Because when you go for an altar call, you're not supposed to be say you return back to your old self. You're not supposed to be. You're not supposed to be say you go return back to your old self. Do lip service. Take ordinary matter talk. Waka come out. You're not supposed to be like that. Then next week again, when they do water call again, you go come out again. When special pastor come, invited pastor, you go come out again. Maybe say you know. My dear sisters, the person don't know what he they do. Because if you know what he you they do, you know what they come out every second. You know what they come out every minute. They come out for utter call. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, if we look what in the Bible tells us, it says if you get faith, you need that faith. You need faith to take Hold on to that altar call where you don't go for. That particular one where they don't call you, where you don't say, I, re I refuse all the sin, I reject the sin, I turn back for waiting God, uh, for waiting the bad way I don't they do, I don't turn back now, I won't meet Christ. Make Christ, they lead me, they go, make it wash me clean of my sin. So if you now finish that statement, say whether they follow you, talk for altar, you don't talk and finish. You're supposed to take faith, stay following. Say, right now, as it be like this, say, we don't talk her like this. I put all my hope. I put all my might. I put all my trust. Say, this talk where we talk so, it not go ever 
ever come off of my mind. In a, in a covenant where they make with God, now be this. Now the oath where they take before everybody, before the church, say, and before God, say, I don't change. I don't, I want come out for the bad where they do. I want come out. I don't want they inside that bad thing again. Wait, be say that confession with your own mouth go help you out of it. And the law says, if you come to him, he say, in go clean all the sin where you don't sin before. He know the sin again. All things don't pass away. All things don't become new. But that one are step by step anyway. So, by the time we be saying you don't the you don't get that born again, you don't that is you don't you don't get that altar call, you don't get that altar call, you don't take them, you don't receive them as your own. Now, now, now the journey really start for you. And they talk to the ones now where we say they won't take them for real. Then they don't want just take my talk and uh, the rich as they forget. But the ones where won't take them for real. I like I read something for uh, Romans 10. Romans 10 from 9. Romans 10 verse 9. Down. He said that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, the Lord Jesus shall believe and, and believe. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth, the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Amen. So now with this same mouth, now you go take talk, now you go take believe. Now this is your heart. Now you go to believe, and I ain't go lead you to salvation. That is salvation. Be say you don't get saved. For the one way you take take your man, take talk her, you don't get saved. Amen. Then uh, verse thirty eight for Acts chapter two. Acts chapter two verse thirty eight. He say, then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. We're going to remember, say, Peter, now one man will follow Jesus from beginning. Now the defect choose from beginning. He say, now so he see, say, that they, now Jesus, they do one. Say, when you don't repent, when you don't confess, finish, they will baptize you. Then you go, the Holy Spirit will come dwell in you because Holy Spirit is not the dwell for dirty place. That baptizer that they baptize you, besides they chuck you put for inside water, they go down. That one be say the death that is the same way that your body they die, they come out. The every dirty way that your body they come out. Then when they bring you out, be say you they come out for resurrection for new. You don't become new person. You don't everything where he, 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 he did don't the, the old one don't come out. Now you have become new. Amen. So all these things that things where people say you supposed to take and serious. If you really not say you be born again Christian or you want to become born again Christian, it is not something that you just walk up to the altar because you just say they say eh, anybody where one day born again you jump come sit down for your seat if you never ready. Stay for your seat if you're never ready. If you're ready to be born again, they say you don't ready to throw away your old self. There must be a difference between the old you and the new you. Amen. The new you, nine the ten no say you don't get born again. You don't go for altar call. They don't need to they look for the date where you go for altar call. Now the changes where they in you innerly, the changes where they in your life. Where the show come out for your outside now. Where they say people go know you before as hey, this person, but now they don't they see now this person be this, you know, difference, don't they? Hey, this person and now this person be this, two difference, two different things entirely. Hallelujah. So if you they if you they you they still they go church, they carry your bag, they go, uh, you never go for altar call, good and fine. They do as you like, oh. But if you say you don't go for utter call and you go for truth, in truth 
and in spirit. Now you go to go for altar call. Not carry yourself. They work out altar call. Like say, now back here do they go. Altar call supposed to be once. If you not know before, no today. Altar call now once. And that once, be say, your body go tell you say, of a truth, you go altar call. Because changes go start for your life. Hallelujah. My dear sisters, before, if it be say, you don't the plan and say, because you can plan your altar call. You can plan it. Now, my life don't they be like this. I want to change. I want to, I, I really want to worship God, but I, know, I never fit. Call on God to help you. Not only in the help person. Papa, help me. I won't know you. Help me. Be say, this time you go, now you go put your knees down. Pray. They pray. When you they pray, and you they ask God, say, see what you want, you go surprise, say, after that your prayer, when you go to church, the next thing, Holy Spirit, they walk in wonderful ways. The next thing you go hear, they say, maybe your church, they know they call altar call before. But that day, altar call go come. Now that day be your day. You go get off of your seat, you go go do your altar call. My dear sisters, altar call is a covenant. Altar call is an agreement. Before men, before God, if you agree that the place where your pastor, they stand, na, na, na holy place, then do things that will fall according to that respect. Not take altar call for yeah, yeah. Not take altar call for yeah, yeah. If you're never ready, stay put. Nobody will come pull you, come off for your chair. Hallelujah. Then make we read there because we need to back her up with Bible uh, uh, verses. So uh, make we read there Luke chapter 9. Make we read Luke chapter 9. But make somebody the right hand down. Uh, Luke chapter 9 from verse uh, 62. And Jesus said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back, his feet. For the kingdom of God. Now they hear? Mm -hmm. Luke 9. He say, No man, where he don't put his hand for, for uh, uh, digging. Where they do farm? You they dig. Eh? You they, you they, you they, you they dig. When you they dig now, uh, and then you come, they look back. They, they dig, you they look back. And when you look back, he said, you know they fit for the kingdom. So as you they do your altar call, you still they think about the worldly life where you won't live. You still they think about, hey, hey so which means I don't go go this school tomorrow now. Nah. So which means I don't go go that corner where they go now. Nah. So which means they are not fit do all those things where they do again. I mean, while you they stand for front, they do altar call. Meanwhile, as you stand for that front, they do that altar call, your heart, they run heter skater. Say, how, how you want to be so? But my dear sisters, that is why I'm telling you that it is a bold step. It is not just a joke. It is a bold step. And if you feel take that step that day, truly from your heart, say, Papa, I don't really tire. I, in fact, me won't follow you. I really leave those things behind. There's an wrong way not be wrong. Make I tell you now, my sisters and my brothers, where some of them they look me so wrong way not be wrong. I woman, the whole chest they run. No, if you see better wrong way go pursue you, you go forget say you carry something for front. Your heels, the back of your leg, you go they touch the back of your head. The Bible tells us that Jesus Christ say, He said, In yoke, they very light. Make we come to run. The Lord way they give us, He they very light. Be say. Call another person. Make it come join the worship in. Finish, oh. In go give you peace. In go give you rest. Anything where in they give you. In no go put wahala joiner. But the opposite might be the case for the other side. Say, if they give you with right hand, they go collect 10 with left. Now, when they give you, they go collect 10 with left. 
So where do you want to belong? I just want to make you understand that this other call where will they take the play because I don't I don't see a many other call where will they take the play. It's not supposed to be a thing of play. It's not supposed to be a thing of joke. Alter call na covenant. If you not know na, you na not know before make you know now. It is a covenant between you and God and men around you. They bear witness that today you they talk say you not follow the enemy again. Say na na God way now you won't follow. So are you deceiving yourself, or you think you are deceiving God? Who you they deceive? By doing all this one, who you they deceive? My dear sisters, nobody go beat you if you're never ready. But when you're ready, follow of a truth. Use your, your heart, take follow. Not they run up and down. Not they run up and down. My dear sisters, I know say, follow, when you, when you, when you get up, say, you, it not be smart in all. For you to feel get up from your chair, you mean that for real in your spirit. I'm not talking about those people where they said they'll just get up because they're not really mean that. Just because say people they go, they go go. Because I remember that time where he said we just they go church, just church goers. When pastor go call uh, prayer, say see something where we call prayer, we can't look round. Say ah, nobody won't go. May not be like say pastor they talk like we go get up, go stand. You know, we did do that on those days. But that was the time when we did lack of knowledge. We don't know, no, no knowledge, no wisdom, nothing. But we just they go church that time. So don't let your case be like that. Where we say, because people just, you just see people, they move you to self, go move. That'll be by force. Everybody must not be, must not be born again the same day. Take your time. Step by step. Prepare your way. You know, see when John the Baptist come, he's saying, Come prepare Jesus Christ's way. Jesus Christ will never come. Home. He's saying, Come arrange road for her. Make it take come. Come do in your own preaching. Come do in your own salvation. So if you sit down for a while for your chair, they prepare yourself. You never do bad though. Because that to go take that altar call. It they too important for you to just do carelessly. You are taking an oath. You they swear. You are swearing. Holy Spirit, make you explain at all now this thing this evening. I know I cannot explain it, but I know the Holy Spirit will explain it more to you. The Holy Spirit will open your eyes to see it. What will they talk so? Don't keep this in your heart. Don't keep it in your heart and say, ah, nah, 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 nah. They just call people, nah, let me to save, go. No, you are destroying yourself. You've taken an oath that you must adhere to. Now, that too. No, oh, no, it, it better make you, make you know, oh God. It better. It better. He say those way they way they owe. He say he better make them put a uh, stone for their leg, eh? Sink them for a side river. He better pass. Hallelujah. My dear sisters and brothers, wait, join me. <sighs> Look for a verse of Bible where you go take the where you go take. Do some more fasting. Take a range away. Because me, I did for fasting and prayer. Oh, because I know, say, if fasting, no, if prayer, no kill him, fasting go kill him. So, now two-edged sword. Prepare yourself very well. I be waiting I call tell you now this evening. Because the devil, he no one make people really, they do this altar call for real. They, he no one make people, they do this altar call for real. Because he knows if they do it for real, Holy Spirit will come and dwell in them after their baptism. You go see so many people don't do water call. They're not they baptized. They're not they baptized. They don't do water call for, for, for years, but they think say baptism is not they that important. It is important. With it, the Holy Spirit will come and dwell in you properly. The dirty don't come off of your body. A new creature has been born. 
So that new one where they in you, now that one now Holy Spirit they call enter. Make we know this thing now step by step. Make we know, make we know deceive ourselves. Utter call now very long process. After you don't go do your altar call, you come back. There are a lot of things you have to do with it. When things they baby say still they bother you, still they destroy you, carry yourself, do deliverance, let it be done, let all those things be done. Step by step, take it one after the other. I know grace is sufficient too. I know a lot of people will now say, oh, when you don't confess Jesus Christ, the grace is sufficient, this and that. <laughs> grace is sufficient, yes. But must we remain in sin because of grace? Now, so, now the apostle, our favorite apostle, Paul, talk. We're going to remain there. He say, God forbid. Hallelujah. So, we need to take that step. We need to take that step with care. With care. Heaven is real. Hellfire is real. Our God loves us so much because he, he, he won't make all of us follow and enjoy that heaven. He sent his only begotten son. The popular verse for the Bible. He sent his only begotten say, make it come, come die for us so that we go feel follow and day. Amen. And I dare to serve hell day. This God way they very loving. Is also a jealous God, and he they do as he like. He they do as he like. Because he they do as he like. Remember in Old Testament. Now we now the, 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 now the two now make up the Bible. I preach from the two. The Old Testament, he said, when he when he, he begin he begin verse in anger come out. He drowned the word. He drowned, he take water, drown this word. He drown him. Cancel him. Because he didn't like what he was saying. That is the kind of God we worship. A peaceful God, a marvelous God, a loving God. But when it comes to his anger, make we know, make we know, make we know vegamo. Make we know stand there. When this God diverse, people they say God not diverse again. God not diverse again. Oh, 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 you are making a mistake, oh my dear sisters. Our God is the same yesterday. Remember, He said He's the same yesterday, today, and He will be the same forevermore. Amen. That is why I want to tell you that God. It's not a man who that will go say when we don't tell and finish, we go come, go back, come, go. They say, I am sorry, I am sorry. He go grill, but when he says that you I'm sorry, now careless ones all the time. It's better you don't make a vow to God. It is better. When you make a vow and make a covenant before God, you have to hold it. Hold it. Make sure say you reach. Those those way they make vow carelessly. Watch your mouth. Watch your tongue. No, no, watch ammo because God is a jealous God. Amen. I want to read something from uh, uh, 1 John chapter 4 or verse 1. He said, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hallelujah. The place where you therefore make this call, where you therefore jump out. The place where you therefore jump out. Holy Spirit tell you, say, now there you supposed to jump out. As they speak, he touch your spirit, he touch your inner man. You know, say, those, that's why they preach, people go, they cry for a side church. Because they know, say, this thing, whether they talk so, now me, now me. You go see people they cry. Nowadays, I know they see people they they cry that kind cry again. Now jump. Neither they jump, they happy. Jump. 
No repentance again. No true repentance. No true repentance. <laughs> People, they cry those days. Eh, don't tell where I see that kind of one. Nah, that make me say those days. Don't they? People go to cry. People go to cry. Because of their sin. But now, now later we they see. For inside church. May God forgive each and every one of us because we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. But may God they forgive us. They forgive us. But you know me say make we remain for inside sin. Hallelujah. I want to read the, also because I, I, I today I said I will read a lot of a lot of Bible verses. One uh, First Thessalonians uh, twenty from twenty. First uh, Thessalonians chapter five verse twenty. He said, "Do not treat prophecies with contempt, but test them all. If you tr truly make a turn on one thing." If you truly get up from your chair and you don't pray and the Holy Spirit tells you, say, go now, go bath, go, go meet that pastor where they call you so, go there. Sometimes people know they know when they walk a rich altar. Those are the ones where God really they call, say, I need you, come here. They know they know when they walk a rich day. But the ones where they say, you never ready, or you as you sit down, you they see certain things where no clear. Then they tell you, say, come, and they call you. Your inner conscience, first of all, conscience still there your body. Before the Holy Spirit go come, come they dwell in you. You see, you have that conscience where God don't give everybody. Where they let you see good and bad. He did there. So there is nothing you will say that this one I make me not come no say that pastor no be real no for put where no the Bible said test all test all how you want to test all what did they talk open your Bible and tell the Holy Spirit to read it to you me I am not an apostle of as you get up you go to do burning you go to do altar call I not be apostle of that one I be apostle of sit down pray. Papa, I really no want to go back. I really no want to go back into the world. And then there is no nothing like now you waka go meet pastor. Say pastor today, I want to be born again. I I just I just tell myself say no more sin. Now I want to follow God and I need you to help me. Hallelujah. Not be say pastor go call altar call you go go. Um visiting pastor go come you go call altar call you go go. Uh, you go, Benny, they come. You go, altar call. Uh, that one, a crusade call. Uh -huh. Then, uh, prophet, they come. You go, go, prophet call. You never know what you they do. The Holy Spirit says, I should tell you. If you never really do your altar call, go enter house, sit down, fast and pray, and go for your altar call. Properly. So that all this for back, for front, for center, grace is abundant. One time grace no go day your back, you go fall, Yakata. You go fall anyhow. None of us, me and Nunawe day, so none of us know the day where the trumpet go sound. When the trumpet sound, where will you be? What side will you be? My dear sisters and brothers, where they watch me. Which side you go day? Oh, sinner man, where you gonna run to? Oh, sinner man, where you gonna run to? You run to the sea, the sea will be boiling. You run to the mountain, the mountains will be melting. Where will you run to? Where will you run to? Especially when God, not they tell us, see, see when in the come. Even Jesus Christ, when they ask him, he say, no, no, when. He don't know when. But when you start to see these signs, know that the time is near. Nobody know the date. Nobody know the hour. So, my dear sisters and brothers, where they watch me, 
God bless you now. Not be me on the watch. God Almighty, the Holy Spirit wants to tell you something. Look for somebody who knows who you know and speak this word to this person. Please, I beg you, share this video where we they do so. Oh, now share them. Share them so that people go understand. Say, the time where we did so, now evening, no, night, don't they wish. Where everybody go to enter a house. Where in taking hand, build. The house where you take your hand, build. Now you go enter. Remember, we are talking for our own pidgin English parable. We say, Bible tell us, say, the work of our hand, I God go test. And when he tests this work of our hand, he go test them. What he want to test? He go test them by fire. Hallelujah. He said he go test them by fire. So, now the house where you build, now you go enter the work of your hand. Now he go test. They give you room key for that paradise. He saying they go build a place. There are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I saw Jesus talk for Bible. So where, how you want to collect your key? When they don't check your work with fire, it not burn, it not destroy, then they go give you key. But if it destroy, don't see say, no be me you deceive. Hallelujah. Sister Sarah, good evening. My dear sisters, this is what I have for you today. I just want you to think about it. Today will not talk long. I just give you the message that I was given. By the grace of God. In go allow the word sink for on our heart. Go sink where way. I got one special topic where I won't do. For women. Only for women. I go do them, but I know go do them life. I go do them, I go record them. I go put them. So anybody where you see them, if you share them. Because it is very important for we women. Very, very important. I don't beg the Holy Spirit to release my tongue on that topic. So anytime from now on, I just wait for her. Maybe in the next one week, wait for her. It will come out. Then, if you ask me a question for them. I thank you that will not join me this evening. Holy Spirit divine, I just give you all the glory. I thank you because you are you. No man can change you. Your word is yea and amen. Your word will save those who want to hear and repent. Oh, you said. <clears throat> Father, I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. Lord, we say thank you for this word that we have heard because we know a lot of lives will be changed. Lord Almighty, every man, every woman that will hear this message, may they be turned around in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory, even as we depart this evening, O oh God, Lord, you are still with each and every one of us. Touch us in every area. That we are still lacking, O oh Lord. Lift us up, O oh God. Send us someone, an angel, that will take us by the hand. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever we are having problems, Lord, when we pray to you, O oh God, send us somebody to take us by the hand to your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Lord and our God, King of glory. You said, even if one is one over, just one, you said, heavens will rejoice. And if you will find one, then you said you will not destroy the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. Lord Almighty, let you, let, let you find goodness in us, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, O Lord, that your goodness will dwell in us. Let us not be just partakers. Let us be doers of your word. Let us take your things seriously in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us be able to teach our children. Let our neighbors be able to learn from us. Let our friends see 
the changes in us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I release each and every one into your able hands, oh God. Their environments, their homes, their children, their husbands, their, their wives, their friends, their families. Lord, take absolute control. Give them a victorious song this week, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Let us have the cause to call you Abba, Father, oh Lord. We give you all the glory. Let laughter be our portion. Let joy be our portion. Let happiness be our portion. May we shout hallelujah to your glory, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that we want to stand on our way this week, oh God, Father, we call upon you to send your angels to walk with us. Walk with us. Go before us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen and amen in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Now do well, oh, my dear sisters. God go bless you. I'm not going to share this video. Make those who no know, make them know. Make them not perish for lack of knowledge. Now do well, oh, my dear sisters. God go bless all of you. Now bye-bye, yo. -bye, I love you all for staying with me. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now bye-bye.